<laughs> Fish Q going out there, go. A picture of Q going out there on the stage, Super Bowl 56 going for the West Coast. West Coast native, born and raised like me. No. -uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 799 clicks in here, Rondell and Blue, Jay meeting two of y'all girls. That's what I bought, how I how I come with it, my trademark. Nuh uh, that's a habit that I had as a kid and I happen to still have it in my adult years. My mom still pull my ears every time she hear me say, Nuh uh, but the ladies like it just like they like my blue eyes. Cause deep down inside, deep, deep down inside, she tend to want Blue Jay up. But I have my, uh, Utility glove on. <laughs> My old San Diego Chargers. <laughs> Utility glove on. Can I throw up the W on this mug? <laughs> it's hard to do that. Uh, but, um, my team didn't make it because of them Raiders. You know what I'm saying? So we didn't even make the playoffs. And we all know that we're the Los Angeles Chargers now. Yeah, but um, the Super Bowl was cool. You know what I'm saying? This video is just basically just a little snippet on how I felt how the halftime show. It would have been dope if uh, Ice Cube was out there. Because Cube is L.A. Think about it. Cube is the West Coast. You know what I mean? Just like Dre and Snoop. We're all West Coast natives. Born and raised. You know what I'm saying? So. In my opinion. That show would have been extra dope if. Cube would have came out there. They would have played. Hello. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Cube come out there, you know what I'm saying? Dun, dun, dun. Just ripping up the stage. And then Ren rip his verse. Dre rip his verse, you know what I'm saying? Man. But hey, that's just my opinion. Still, it's all West Coast love. To my natives, born and raised, just like me. I was born in the ING. I was born in Inglewood. Lived there five years of my life and was... Raised in Signal Hill, we call it Pig Hill, in the LBC in Long Beach. I lived there longer as a youth and as an adult. You know what I mean? And then also in my late teen years, I moved to Hawaiian Gardens, but still, it's still the LBC. But I was born in Inglewood, right across the street from the farm. I lived off of Old Sage Street, you know what I'm saying? Right behind the old stop and go. <laughs> and I don't know if him and Mac 1-0, you know what I mean? That's another legend on the West Coast. Mac 10. I don't know if the West Side Connection is still cool like that. You know what I mean? But uh, that would have been dope to see Cube out there. That's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Because him and Ren as well. But Cube is the West Coast. He is the king of the West as well. Just like Dre, just like Snoop. Snoop is the king of my city too, as well as the left coast. You know what I'm saying? So this is my opinion. But overall, I love the halftime show. I like how 50 ripped it too. So as long as it's been on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? I always help other people out as far as buying their products and supporting other people. It's not all, it's my brand. You know, I've been saying that ever since I was a little four-year-old kid. But I used to say it the kitty way. When my mom, she used to always pull my ear. Every time I would say, nah, nah, like I don't believe you, nah, nah. That's how I used to say it. But then, when I turned 13, when I started rhyming, my brother told me to use it as a punchline. Try it out. I said, nah, it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. 
You know what I mean? That shit stuck with me. You know what I'm saying? So nowadays, even though I don't rhyme anymore, but sometimes I play some of my classics in the background of my YouTube videos because I don't want copyright strikes and stuff like that holding my channel back. Shnuh-uh-uh, shnuh-uh. I flip it, shnuh -uh. That's my brand, that's my trademark. I have the hoodie here, if you guys like to cop one. I have them on Teespring. I don't, this is the only thing I don't like about them. I don't like the hoodie pull string because it has, it's like a boxer's tassel on a shoe or like a paintbrush when you look at it, you know what I mean? I don't like it the way it is. It's not like my other hoodies, like my Nike hoodies or something where the tassel at the end is taped up. You know what I mean? Where it's like formed up and shaped in the, you know, like how a normal hoodie would be. You know what I mean? With the plastic coating, covering. But, uh, yeah, so if you like, you can cop a schnuh hoodie or a t-shirt. You know what I'm saying? That's my thing. And that's what I'm going to start doing more. Two things. It start more marketing my own shit. My own stuff. Excuse me. You know what I mean? And then I'm going to push back on the RIPs on the dead legends in hip hop. And I'm going to start, you know, I mean, every now and then I'll do one of those videos. But I would like to give my hip hop legends their props while they're here, while they're still alive. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I enjoy chopping it up with you guys. You know I me, mean? I'm standing up. I ain't standing out of breath. I'm just a six foot three and a half natural heavyweight, naturally muscular. You know what I'm saying? And I was just here chilling, man. All right, Tintubers, feel free to sub, share, comment, and I'll catch you guys in another one. And also, to all my West Coast natives, be proud of your Los Angeles Rams. Enjoy that. Now me and my charges will be back next year. Seven nine nine, my clicks got game. She left them at the ball and came my way. Get up, and do you little thing? Get up, and shake them gutters, mama. Get up, and do you little thing, maroon girl. Got that color on, looking the best.